The following program is sponsored by the partners and friends of Morris Cirillo World Evangelism. Here's the executive director of the Legacy Center, Mr. Jim Penner. Welcome to the Legacy International Center. You know, this incredible center has been uh, under construction for the past three years, almost three years now, and going through the entitlement phase even longer than that. And many of you have been driving by on the 8 freeway here across from Fashion Valley Mall, and you're seeing the construction and wondering what is this place and how did this come to be? We thought we'd take just a few minutes now and show you a little behind the scenes of how this construction came to be. The people that were behind building this place, the people that were behind the exhibits that went into this place, thought we'd uh, let you enjoy this little behind the scenes of your Legacy International Center right here in San Diego. Morris Cirillo had a grand plan. Build a Legacy International Center in his hometown of San Diego since 1959. A place where his ministry could reach, teach, and transform the world, but also a place for the wonderful people of San Diego. One that would welcome all races and religions, all people, family, friends, as well as host conventions, weddings, banquets, performances, and big events on the open plaza. The Legacy International Center is a $200 million, 300,000 square foot campus built on 18 acres of prime property in Mission Valley. It features a first class hotel, resort and spa, first class amenities, including beautifully appointed rooms and mini suites, a fitness center and a full service health spa and pool area. And to top it off, Teresa's Italian Prime Steakhouse. Across from the hotel is the breathtaking Welcome Center with an award-winning, massive, interactive digital globe standing 28 feet high. Watch as you travel around the world in 80 seconds and hear people from all over the world welcome you to the Legacy Center. Bonjour, je suis Marc de Belgique. Discover people and places from around the United States. Hi, my name is Algin. I'm from San Bernardino, California. We'd like to welcome you here to the Legacy Center in the beautiful city of San Diego. Enjoy your time here. You can go to the spa, enjoy the nice foods. Anything you like, it's right here. This truly is a one-of-a-kind experience, one that sets you on your journey through the Legacy Center. Then you will enter the five movie galleries that present movies from ground to ceiling on all four walls. All of this beauty shrouded in the mystery of three words in the beginning. Be captivated as you explore the mysteries of man and its search for answers. Then if you like, you can exit the Welcome Center and stroll through the amazing gardens to rest, meditate, or just enjoy the serene environment. This area will be very busy as we host weddings for people from around the world. Then you'll continue and enter the Legacy of Nations, where you'll discover the ministry of Maurice Cirillo. We will not make you less than what you are. You are God. You created the heavens and the earth. You breathe into us the breath of life. We are made in your image. Then explore the exciting land of the Legends of Lightfall, inspired by the Legacy Center's new comic book series. This experience will thrill children and adults alike as they interact with the characters through fun digital games. Join with friends as you step and stomp on the many creatures who attempt to stop our heroes as they try to escape from the dangerous caverns. Become a comic book writer as you choose from different storylines for the cast in the Legends of Lightfall interactive comic book. Then it's off to the amazing 3D taction tables where you try your best to navigate a safe path to victory. Step into the 360 degree theater and view a most remarkable film called Meet Morris and Teresa. It documents the lives of these extraordinary people. It's not the work of a man. It is not the work of Morris Cirillo. It's the work of the Holy Spirit. And you can leave this city and go right to your own city and do the same thing. Walk through ancient catacombs that display original, award-winning art created by world-renowned artist Kurt Wenner. Stand in the empty tomb and hear the Apostle Paul write his letters from his Roman prison cell. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. 
Now it's time to experience the -the state-of-the-art motion seat dome theater. As you enter, the environment quickly prepares you for two amazing journeys. Sit in one-of-a-kind seats that transport you into an expansive visual and audio display unlike any other in the world, complete with water, mist, wind, fragrances, and special surprises. Your imagination is fully engaged as you travel back to ancient times. Get immersed as the universe comes to life before your eyes with such wondrous events and biblical moments as the Great Flood, life in Pharaoh's Egypt, the parting of the Red Sea, and the dramatic story of hope for humankind. Then, travel to present-day Israel, but leave your passport behind because you are ready to soar. Imagine you will fly from San Diego to Israel in your first class seat and fly over the amazing land from the Sea of Galilee, the Dead Sea, Caesarea, Masada, and then fly over the famous Dome of the Rock and into the heart of Jerusalem. As you exit the Welcome Center, you stand beside a replica of the Western Wall in Jerusalem, adorned with real Jerusalem stone, shipped directly from the quarries of Jerusalem. Then, take a walk through the International Sook shopping area and see merchandise from around the world, featuring a show fountain synchronized to popular music. The Legacy Center features a pavilion theater where not only meetings and special events are held, but it was designed to present first-run theatrical movies complete with surround sound. Across the hall is the delicious Fountain's grab-and-go restaurant. Just above is Mission Control for the Morris Cirillo School of Ministry, a mighty resource to teach and train students. The alumni from his School of Ministry totals more than five million graduates from around the world. The Legacy International Center is a sight to behold, experience, and enjoy for everyone. But there's a remarkable story behind Maura Cirillo's vision for a destination with a destiny. And it all started many years ago. In the fall of 2011, the first of many remarkable events began to take place. The ministry took part in a land auction that resulted in the purchase of an 18 acre property that was in foreclosure. The ministry outbid the other party by a single penny. It was the one penny miracle. He reaches in his pocket and he says, here's the penny lady and here's the check. And she puts the gavel down and you own the property debt free. As the ministry began to draft creative ideas for the Legacy Center, a school of ministry, hotel and attractions, Morris and Teresa Cirillo received the first architectural plans and 3D model of the Legacy Center. From the renderings and models, excitement built. An original holographic movie was shot and shared with the partners in 2012 in order to encourage them to participate in the vision. Soon, creative companies descended on the ministry, from technology to creative superstars. Ideas were pitched and considered that would make the Legacy Center unlike any other destination in the world, a state-of-the-art facility with attractions never before seen. But as movement was being made on the creative front, the first wave of feedback and commentary from the city and consultants began to cause concern. It appeared, after a few years of making progress, the plans as currently drawn for numerous reasons, would not meet with approval by the city. Morris Cirillo had to make a most critical and costly decision. First, we designed a legacy center and certain architectural look. This past year, when we came face to face with the finality of that in June, of 2016, we discarded it. Totally. Now that took a lot of spiritual fortitude 
to discard several years of work and almost start all over again until we got what we saw in the vision. I think any project, uh, and perhaps this one in particular, requires somebody to find something genuine um, about idea making. Architecture, in my mind, comes from a spirit of, of culture, from purpose. It's the reason culture is in our name. Our, our work was worldwide. We've worked, uh, we, were, we work in Asia, we work in, in Latin America, we work in uh, certainly throughout the United States. It's not so much the geography, it's the attitude that the kind of work we do in trying to seek true authentic storylines behind which concepts for architecture um, are, are produced. That's the attractiveness, I think, to this firm. When we draw a line, we draw it with a purpose. Everybody is wired to try to do the proper kind of research to make each project unique to the client we're dealing with and to their purpose. And everybody has a different purpose. It doesn't matter whether you're doing a restaurant or you're doing a ministry. I had my entire team go through Dr. Cirillo's teachings and learn the history of Dr. Cirillo and the message that he was given. And when we took that message and applied it to that 18 acres, the project that came out of that was dramatically different. We felt as though the project really needed to be derivative of the story behind what the ministry is about, what uh, Dr. Cirillo has been doing all of his life. We were looking into the project and seriously, the whole project was a parking lot. So I went to the site and I was looking at the hillside and it's really uh, an amazing location. So we, the way we started is like, we need to bring that hillside and celebrate nature more into the site and make the whole project like a garden with themes throughout the campus. And we were looking into some inspirations starting with the Garden of Eden or the uh, Mount of Olives. So that was kind of like the main driver when we started to rethink about the project. The main emphasis of the project is that it's going to be, as it is in its name, it's going to be a legacy project. It has to last 50, 100 years. We didn't want to keep the time period located in like the 70s or the 80s. We wanted one that'd be timeless. And the design team of Lena, David, and Gordon Carrier kind of expounded on that vision and made sure that the design reflected that. And that was probably the biggest challenge was morphing away from the old design and presenting a new design that would be amenable to MCWE. It is important for the architect and for the designers to be uh, in constant communication with the client to understand all the aspects and all the visions that they have. Part of that responsibility is to educate them uh, technically. And from there, we take it to the next level. Every piece of architecture tells a story. And that's really what we want for the Legacy Center, is we want people to be engaged from the minute they drive onto the campus, that there's something different about this place. And good architecture can create that environment. While we were reading into the MC uh, book, we found an article that was actually just written in Arabic in the book. And it just grabbed my eye as like, oh wow, there's an Arabic article in this, in this book. And when I read them in Arabic, it just clicked in my mind as like, oh wow, that's, that's a great message to bring to the people peace, love, and forgiveness. The early response from the City Planning Commission was encouraging. It appeared the course correction taken by Morris Cirillo and the ministry was correct. It was full speed ahead. Permits for demolition and construction were in motion. Nothing could stop Morris Cirillo or the ministry. It was confirmation that the hand of God was behind this plan and the purpose for the Legacy Center. It would be built. But there was one more critical vote that had to take place with the San Diego City Council. In a matter of seven days, the ministry would need another miracle to sway the dissenters and cause a new vote to approve construction. Morris Cirillo rallied nearly 100 pastors from San Diego to gather and pray for a breakthrough. On October 18th, 2017, the final vote to approve construction of the Legacy International Center took place at the San Diego City Council meeting. I'm overjoyed. I'm relieved. I'm so happy and thanking the Lord for this wonderful victory. Demolition begins. We're looking forward 
to the next few years and accelerating the outreach. Yes, sir, absolutely. As the walls were set into place at the construction site, the technology and creative storytelling process was moving ahead at the ministry. Dr. Cirillo was a frequent visitor to the site, inspecting construction and staying very involved. Morris Cirillo sent his executive director of the Legacy Center, Mr. Jim Penner, to travel to Israel and get the one-of-a-kind Jerusalem stone that would adorn all structures throughout the Legacy Center. As the ministry conducted more hard hat tours, the project estimators believed the property would be completed by the end of 2019. Morris Cirillo not only made regular visits to the construction site, he continued international travel to conduct meetings and inform hundreds of thousands of people about the incredible gift from God. The one-of-a-kind attractions at the Legacy International Center include a Meet Morris exhibit, a movie in the round that projects the amazing story of Morris and his ministry. Welcome to the Legacy Center. And here we go, off into the wild blue yonder. Now we're gonna take you inside the Welcome Center and inside this grand, beautiful lobby, right in the middle of this lobby is where our 28 foot wide, 18 foot tall world globe, an LED globe, basically a giant television set. And this globe just won product of the year at the National Association of Broadcasters Convention in Las Vegas just two months ago. So this is very exciting. It's extremely cutting edge technology and you will be able to explore the nations of the world on this globe that, that you're seeing here depicted. And then you'll go from the globe area to the five galleries. We have five incredible galleries. They're storytelling galleries. And the very first one, very first set of films that we're showing is the story of creation. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. And then you work your way down and you'll find the entrance to the garden of peace, the prayer garden. There's a beautiful chapel that seats 120 at one end. It's an outdoor chapel with lattice work of wisteria all growing through it. A beautiful rose garden for Teresa because Teresa loves roses. So we put in an absolutely beautiful rose garden. And then you'll make your way back into the Welcome Center and you'll head to the lower level. And the first area is the Legacy of Nations exhibit. You're seeing it in its raw form now under construction but pretty soon you will be seeing exhibits like we're showing you where you can see the, the nation of Mexico, for instance, or Africa or Central and South America and see how God used Dr. Cirillo in all of these nations. But most importantly, what happened to the nationals that were trained up? How did the nations transform because they took the teaching that God gave to them through Dr. Cirillo and took it to the next level and built incredible churches for our Lord? And then you go from there into the Legends of Lightfall area. You're seeing that area where, where an incredible castle and technologies and it's just bring Lightfall to, to life. An incredible comic series that is giving Dr. Cirillo's teaching in a uh, parable form like Jesus would do. And these stories also mirror the parables of Jesus. From the Legends of Lightfall exhibit, you'll walk into the exhibit where uh, you'll meet Morris and Teresa and they're gonna welcome you to Legacy and guide you through the center and they're doing it in incredible 3D form. We have cutting edge video that will bring them to life where they can uh, share the incredible Legacy exhibits with you. And then from there, you'll come right here into the catacombs where I'm standing right now. So these catacombs are gonna be an absolutely awesome exhibit. And then when you leave the catacombs, You'll go to a special area where we have the Torahs and the incredible historic Bibles that we've received from Dr. Uh, Christian Harfouche, and those will be on display upon these walls. And then last but not least is the Dome Theater, uh, where the Motion Seat Theater, where Wings Over Israel and Walk Through the Bible will take flight inside this incredible Motion Seat Theater uh, that you're seeing here. Uh, and as you leave the theater, you'll go out onto the plaza and this is where the Wailing Wall is being built. You see the rebar coming up out of the ground now, but pretty soon you're gonna see the finished stone. And then next to that is the international market with goods from all over the world, teas and coffees and spices and chocolates and, and handbags and scarves and anything you can think of will be available in this international market. And right next to the international market and right next to the Wailing Wall, right in the center of the plaza is one of the most beautiful fountains you've ever seen. 
It's being created by a company called Outside the Lines who did the very famous, world famous Bellagio Fountain in Las Vegas. Uh, our fountain that they're building for us has 32 heads to it. Uh, so it's a show fountain. The, the waters go from six inches off the ground to 40 feet in the air. And here we're showing what that looks like to see these fountains dance and move. And we set them to the Wings Over Israel music in this little clip for you. Can you, see, you can see what that show fountain is like. And it's just a spectacular place to be. And at Christmas time, on the upper part of the plaza, we're going to have a 50 foot tall tree, all LED lit, and all of those lights dance to the same music that the fountain is, is going on. So we're actually going to create Christmas City USA. And now we're going to take you inside the pavilion building. And in the background, you can actually see the stage. Uh, you're seeing this, uh, this, lot, this theater under construction. We can show movies in here. We can have concerts in here, stage productions in here. It's an absolutely incredible, completely versatile theater. And then when you leave the theater, you can actually have dinner right across the hall in our banquet space. If we have a, an event where everybody comes to an event and they want to all eat together, we have a banquet space that'll seat uh, 500 in that, in that banquet space. And in the very front part of the pavilion building, right next to, to where the fountains are going to be, is the grab and go restaurant where you can get incredible pizzas. Dr. Cirillo loves pizza. In the summer of 2019, Morris asked his board of directors to visit and tour the Legacy Center. This is truly amazing. It is beyond comprehension. It's kind of like the Queen of Sheba said when she went to visit Solomon and looked at all of his glory and said the half has never been told. This is a place that God has raised up for Dr. Sorella's RE to come and learn and be refreshed and be fired up and go back and take their nations for God. Literally, I've never seen anything quite like this. In October of 2019, Morris Cirillo invited local faith leaders to take a walk on the campus. The opening was just a few weeks away. The reason Jesus said to make disciples is because there was no success without succession. And when I think of the Dr. Cirillo's life and all the things he's done, his succession is around the world. But here in San Diego, this is a big statement of the faithfulness of stewardship of money, of stewardship of his gift, to plant something here that's going to outlive not only him, but all of us. Uh, it's, just, I, it's blowing my mind. It's making me now rethinking everything I'm doing because I, I absolutely would love to plant something. Uh, it's challenging for all of us. So what are we going to leave behind? So I can't wait to see it finished. I can't wait to bring my church here. The Legacy International Center received high marks for its design and planned functionality. In early December, Morris and Teresa walked on the plaza to witness the show fountain and Christmas tree musical program. Hey, there's our beautiful Christmas tree, Mommy. Look at that. Wow, this is all part of the great spirit that Christmas brings to us. It's a season like no other season because it gives us a time to forget the past and it gives us a time to look forward to the future yes. and to fill ourselves with expectancy yeah. that's new, happy. Exciting. That's why we say joy unspeakable and full of glory. Then, after an over eight year journey. On December 11th, the ministry staff joined with many of the workers from Clark Construction to witness the ceremonial handover of the master key to legacy. I wanna thank you very sincerely. And this is Mrs. Trillo standing alongside of you. And this is Jim Penner, as you know, you you have almost uh, been inseparable right. during the past two years. Hip, 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 the Legacy International Center in Mission Valley is scheduled to open on July 1st. We are excited to have you visit and experience all of the wonderful features and benefits of this fabulous campus. And as a special gift to all of San Diego, we are offering a buy one, get one entrance fee to our incredible Legacy Center. 
with amazing, one-of-a-kind, interactive, and digitally filmed experiences. That's right, buy one ticket at regular price and get one free. And there's plenty of convenient parking on campus. Come and interact with the 28-foot digital globe and tour the world in 80 seconds. Bonjour, je suis Marc de Belgique. Experience the four-walled movie galleries. All of this beauty shrouded in the mystery of three words in the beginning. And museum exhibits. And for children of all ages, interact in the Legends of Lightfall area where you can try to stomp your way through a challenging adventure and help the Legends of Lightfall characters reach their destination. But you'll have to be quick on your feet to combat creatures of all kinds who will try to stop you. Become a comic book writer as you choose from different storylines for the cast in the Legends of Lightfall interactive comic book. Then try your hand at the Legends of Lightfall interactive taction tables Choose the character you wish to be, and then set off on your exciting journey. Then continue your visit through the center and discover the ancient catacombs and take hold of amazing artwork from world-renowned artist Kurt Wenner. Now it's time to experience the state-of-the-art motion seat dome theater. As you enter, the environment quickly prepares you for two amazing journeys. Sit in one-of-a-kind seats that transports you into an expansive visual and audio display unlike any other in the world, complete with water, mist, wind, fragrances, and special surprises. Your imagination is fully engaged as you travel back to ancient times. Get immersed as the universe comes to life before your eyes with such wondrous events and biblical moments as the Great Flood, life in Pharaoh's Egypt, the parting of the Red Sea, and the dramatic story of hope for humankind. Then, travel to present-day Israel, but leave your passport behind because you are ready to soar. Imagine you will fly from San Diego to Israel in your first-class seat and fly over the amazing land from the Sea of Galilee, the Dead Sea, Caesarea, Masada, and then fly over the famous Dome of the Rock and into the heart of Jerusalem. It was fantastic. You weren't just watching something, you were experiencing it. It is absolutely state of the art. This was amazing, and I encourage you to get here as soon as possible. So plan to visit. Our scheduled opening is July 1st, and for a limited time, we're offering a special buy one, get one free admission. So go to the website, thecenteratlegacy.com. That's thecenteratlegacy.com. Thecenteratlegacy.com. Plan your visit now and experience San Diego's newest, most exciting attraction, the Legacy International Center, right here in San Diego.